guys! Welcome to the fourth Back to Basics video in which we're going to talk about an integral part of a solar PV system without which your array will be more than a little wobbly. Let's get stuck into solar PV mounting, aka racking. There are three main types of mounting depending on the installation. Pitched roof, flat roof and ground mount. Pitched roofs either use an on-roof system that consists of a frame of rails and hooks or an in-roof system made up of composite trays or a frame and flushing system. In-roof mounting is most often used in new build houses as part of the initial construction or in roof retrofit situations. Flat roofs use a system of freestanding racking or console trays that don't penetrate the roof but use ballast to keep in place. This type can be seen most often on commercial properties such as warehouses, factories and large retail units. Ground mount systems are usually used on large-scale utility and solar farms and have a foundation directly in the ground when panels are installed in parallel on a typical residential roof, the pitch would be optimal to capture all the sun's available rays. If the rooftop is flat, certain mounting systems can be set up to align modules at their optimum angle. Not all solar racking systems are the same, but there are several components that are commonly used in almost all. These are hooks, rails and clamps. Hooks are attached to the roof rafter with screws, which in turn secures the whole racking system. There's a huge variety of hooks depending on the roof type. Next up are rails that fix to the hooks. These are long metal tracks that can be installed vertically or horizontally. After the rails have been installed, solar panels are fastened using clamps. Most domestic buildings have pitched tiled roofs. The key things to consider are, what type of tile is it? Pan tile, plain tile or slate? Do you need an on-roof or an in-roof solution? And what's the substructure of the roof? Retrofit systems on existing roof structures usually use on-roof railed systems. New build or roof renovation projects often use an integrated or in-roof system, which acts as a substitute for the tiles, saving roofing time and material costs. Fixed directly onto the roof substructure, they allow the panels to sit flush with the roof and create an aesthetically pleasing array. Beyond just holding solar panels in place, mounting must withstand weight from snow and high winds. While snow is not usually a problem in much of the UK, wind speeds are higher in coastal and hilly areas and at the edges of a roof, so array edges require more fixing points to compensate. Roof space is less of an issue with commercial systems. The key is to find the most cost-effective way to maximise output. The most common pitched roof types within the commercial market are either trapezoidal or corrugated metal roofs. Trapezoidal roofs give the option of using a mini rail system, which sits along or across the box profile of the roof, rather than long rails across the whole roof. Corrugated metal roofs can use the same mini rail system. While fibre cement corrugated sheeting requires an alternative method that typically uses the hanger bolt and rail system like residential roofs. Another common type of roof on commercial buildings is a standing seam roof. Like flat roofs, you can't penetrate them. Instead, you use seam clamps, of which there are a wide range in different shapes and sizes. There's also a big market within the commercial space for flat roof arrays. Key things to note are, can you penetrate the roof or do you need to use ballast? What space do you have and are there any obstacles such as air ducts? Is the roof structure suitable for the weight being added to it? It's essential that the design and calculations for ballast and loading are accurate for a flat roof. The last thing you want is for the panels to be blown away. If you're unsure of anything, get the info from the manufacturers directly. This will ensure that you get the best solution fully engineered ballast calculations and the correct bill of materials. Another sector for commercial and utility scale installations is ground mount. Large scale ground mount systems mostly use a frame solution, not currently in the Seagen portfolio. However, there is a new freestanding ground mount system just launched in the UK from GSE and it's secured with ballast. It's ideal for gardens, agriculture and small scale commercial. As ever, there's a crib sheet to go along with this video and a whole host of useful information on the Seagen portal and your dedicated account manager will help you with any inquiries. Thanks for watching and we hope you found it useful. Look out for the next instalment on battery storage.